Welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Parkside Cabin Rentals. Um, there's just not a better, prettier time to get to Sevier County and the Smokies than the fall. And if you're headed up there, trust Parkside Cabin Rentals. All kinds of cabin layouts, fireplaces, hot tubs, free parking in downtown Gatlinburg when you drive into town. Parkside Cabin Rentals, they're a great, great group to deal with. Check out their website this week or give them a call. Parkside Cabin Rentals. All right. I want to welcome in the next two VFLs, and I want to apologize for those who've come to appreciate our three up, three down opens. I forgot to put it in today. That's on me. Oh. Right down there, we got the VFLs, the Dubs. <laughs> we got Daniel Hood and Sterling Hinton, and right over here, Top of course, eight. we got the Vultures, Will Overstreet and Jimmy oh. Holmes. All right, uh, we do three up, three down. Who played best? Who played worst yesterday? Number three up. Dubs, who you got? You know, we've, we've said it for a couple of weeks now. You know, the definition of a Tennessee football player starts and ends with Jarek Garantano. Seven days after a surgery, you're already coming back. Playing, six. Or six. Six days, days. yeah. Yeah, <laughs> six days after a surgery, you're already coming back and playing a, a game and leading your team to victory. It was incredible to see. Yes. So, well, so us vultures can what? differ on that just a little <laughs> bit. All right, so, so Garantano is the number three up. Who's the number three down, vultures? You can, you can certainly applaud Garantano's toughness. Yes. And the fact that he did come back six days after surgery. I don't know that you can applaud some of his decision making. He threw an interception in the end zone. By his definition, it was stupid. Uh, he also had a fumble on a handoff with the back. I thought he, had, he missed a blitz. He missed open receivers. I didn't think he played that well, but he, I give him credit for being out there. Yeah. Um, the, the other thing, Don Lundin was had a bad decision on the interception of the end zone. He also threw that thing off his back foot, too, which, yeah. you know, Aaron Rodgers can do that. Tom Brady can do that. Pat Mahomes can do that. Getting to the end of the list right there. There's not many coaches that want to see that. <laughs> Sterling doesn't like anybody to ever be critical. He, he didn't have a great game. He, he was did. tough to be out there. He, it was, it, it, he showed a lot of toughness. I mean, I mean, no yeah, I, I play with pain and throwing that ball, I tell you, whoa, baby. Well, and he also, there were a couple times he landed on that wrist. Yeah. And I wondered, okay, is he going to be back in there? So yeah. credit to him. That nobody can ever question that kid's heart and toughness. Oh, man. So, okay, uh, number two up. Does. Number two up is our guy who is not the most accurate Tennessee kick in the history of the Tennessee Volunteer Football Program. Our man, Otto Maglia, baby. <laughs> Otto Maglia. I mean, he kicked those field goals in that one, the long one, the 49-yard one. That thing was at a time when, you know, momentum could have switched to UAB. But he nailed it. Yeah. That was a big kick. He had a 53. 53. Yeah. It was his career yeah. long. Yeah. yeah. Brent Samagli. Yeah. It's still hard for me to believe. But that, that is a heck of a list to be on top of. Oh, man. I mean, Fouad Reves, Carlos Reves, uh, Jeff Hall, Will Hoy the guys that he's now over in terms yeah. of percentage, that is impressive. He's 18 or 20 this year. Huh? That's just absolutely. He, Otto Maglia. Otto oh, Maglia. All right. <laughs> Who is the number two down, Vultures? Uh, Kennedy. Uh, you you could have picked a couple of guys in that offensive line yesterday. Uh, they didn't have a great game. They got matched up. There were guys being missed, free runners on the quarterback and then the running backs on the backfield. So together, that group la last night, and Kennedy being one of those guys, the nose tackles getting a lot of pressure up front. You have to say that they did not have a good night, and he's one of the downs. Okay, number one up. Um, one of yeah. the one of the best stories of the season. I, I'll start with you. You can finish uh, it, but uh, okay. Bryce, Bryce Thompson. The I mean, body snatcher. Three <laughs> three interceptions. Three in one game. Uh, yeah, it had a huge huge hit about, on the quarterback uh, in the first quarter. If they do it again, we need to on hats on the field. <laughs> or something. I'm just saying, man. Keep it going. Uh, hats off to the kid. Played, yeah. a, played a good game. It was awesome fun to game. watch. Three awesome. picks. Uh, first since who? Deion Grant? In 99. It's mm -hmm. a long time. All right. And uh, I like to add, those picks weren't thrown directly to him. He made some athletic plays to get those balls, man. Yeah, and he also got, I mean, there was uh, one of those was a tip ball. I think Toa Toa got his oh, hand man. on one of them. So, yeah, uh, kudos to Bryce Thompson. Yeah. All right, who is the number one down? One year, Morris. I, I, he had a tough night, number Taking 64. Taking on freshmen. He, um, what vultures? <laughs> yeah, well, that's what vultures are here for. That's what you're there for. Look on that carcass. Uh, but he, he did not have a good game. He gave up a, a, a sack. He missed a couple other blocks. Well, I, I thought he, he played more like a freshman. He's had a lot better games than this. He has. And, and last night, a guy that maybe you didn't expect, an athletic defensive end. I mean, he really kind of showed some tape for the NFL last night on him because he was had him spinning around, and you could tell in that game – 
kind of when you're defensive end after you beat a guy a couple inside outside you realize he has no idea what's coming and his eyes get really big and that's when it's hey I got you all night long and he definitely that guy had set up shop inside of his head because it was over at that point all right, let me ask you this one. This is a vulture-esque question. Oh. Sorry. Our specialty. <laughs> very, very quick, very quick. So Magley, I bragged on him. He's done a great job. I just wish you'd kind of tone down the celebrations at this point. What? what? You're the kicker. What? 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 If you hit the game winner, fine. But He's after every fun kick. doing his job. Let him after have every fun. kick. You know, I liked him oh. going after the UAB guy that was getting on Kennedy. So the kicker was defending <laughs> the offensive line. <laughs> right. We did, we did miss that. He could play he, he, did, he did have one fight breakup last night. Oh. That was one stat we forgot. Uh, right. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I'm just not big on showboating, much less <laughs> kickers. But all right. Uh, did anyone understand Jeremy Pruitt's use of the quarterbacks last night? We will discuss that next. We still got a lot more to come. We got Isaiah Victor coming out here to talk basketball a little later. We got a preview of Kentucky. We got uh, Kentucky picks on and on and on. We got uh, another hour to go here on the Sports Source. Come on back. Thanks for choosing us to entertain. Complete with tension and biting humor. And inform you. <laughs> this is the Sports Source.